This is so pretty. Yeah. I said I wasn't gonna spend any more money. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. All right, I have to get this. So I'm just gonna get one thing. If I can get it opened. Oh my goodness, these are so tempting to get. Just because you get such a good deal out of them. Just... I have also heard from Shan X Ohm that this is a very good primer. So I'm gonna take it. I just want to show you guys really quick what I got at the Impulse Beauty Store. I got a free ring light with my order, so I'm about to use that now. And see, it's from Impulse Beauty. And then if you tap it, or if you click it, it just gets brighter and brighter. So let me bag for free, and it has like little samples inside. Oh, what is this? Is this an Anastasia sponge? Well, it comes with a little sponge. It's not, it's so fucking hot. It's not the Anastasia. I mean, it's not a beauty blender sponge, but it actually feels quite good. It doesn't feel, eh, feels a little harsh. Oh, this is, no, it's not. Is it? It is an Anastasia sponge. It has like the same little logo right there. I also got this. This is a clear brow gel. I've never tried the Anastasia clear brow gel, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I'll probably try it tomorrow. But yeah, I didn't know that they had their own sponge. I also got this Smashbox primer, photo finish primer oil. Again, it's just a sample size. Do you guys see that reflect? I probably wouldn't use these colors, like this blue one. Or this purple one. Well, these are actually really pretty. I also got this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. It is Prime Set Refresh. I mean, oh my no. Oh, this smells so good. I'm like a sucker for setting sprays. So I got the Tarte one. Ready, set, radiant. This is their new one. Skin mist broom visage. Oh, that's in a whole nother language. Boing. Yeah, it's ready, set, radiant. Sorry, I just have to smell it. Mm. I got the new self-adjusting complexion primer by Urban Decay, the packaging of it. And this is what it looks like. I just wanna... Oh, okay. So I just squirted some out. And then if I spread it, this was literally one pump. Wow, this is like a lot. Uh, I guess I have to try it on the skin. The hand isn't really that much of a good surface. I guess the hand is only good for color, but this looks pretty good. It feels very creamy. <sighs> Hello world. Good morning. So today is, you cannot see me. Okay. So today is Saturday and I am on my way to pick up my friend Camilla so we can go to the concert well i'm gonna pick her up and we're gonna be at my house getting ready um and then we're gonna go to this concert and today in philadelphia and new jersey area it is raining and it is ugly out but we're we're gonna go to newark new jersey for the concert and it's supposed supposed to only rain there in the morning so we hope that it only rains in the morning before we get there. We have our stuff laid out here. As I said, I'm gonna be trying this self-adjusting primer. I don't know if I'm gonna try this primer oil or not, but I'm also gonna be using the Aurora palette along with these two setting sprays and primers that I told you guys that I got yesterday. And I'm also gonna be trying the Anastasia Beverly Hills little sponge. So let's see how well this is gonna work out. 
So starting off with the self-adjusting complexion primer by Urban Decay. It looks like this. Hmm. Let me try another pump. on a Sunday and we got home pretty late last night but early. we got home pretty early this morning <laughs> um but we had so much fun and now we're ready and oh show off the highlight mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 so we're about to go get a little quick bite breakfast kind of thing at one o'clock in the afternoon and then we're gonna hang out for the rest of the day so it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look at this lighting. So this is not what we want to listen to. Really just doing this because I'm obsessed with how this lighting looks. On our way to a Brazilian snack slash restaurant slash quick bite to eat kind of place. Um, Camila's gonna eat an acai bowl. Damn, ma. Yes, you is fine. You is real pretty. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a coxinha, which is like coxinha. a a coxinha, which is like a chicken ball deal kind of thing. Ball. It's like a, a chicken. You can't think chicken about ball. It. Chicken ball. <laughs> hey, chicken. You can. So, guys, it is the sun is definitely bothering me, but. It is Sunday afternoon, and I my like my weekend is officially over. Today I used the Hangover Three in One Setting Spray, and I used it with the Wet and Wild, the new their new foundation, and the L'Oreal Infallible. I mixed the both of them, and I absolutely loved, loved, loved the finished. It looked the finish. It looked so beautiful. Um, I loved it. I was like completely admiring it the whole time I was doing my makeup. And I just paired that up with the Wet n Wild Concealer. I don't know exactly what the names of these are because I don't have them like in front of me. Overall, I had a really high coverage, so I'm excited. I'm happy about that. Um, just got a couple smile lines over here too, but it's not that bad. I also tried the 3-in-1 Hangover um setting spray refreshener and primer and i use that as a setting spray today and i like like it but i don't know maybe i don't know i'm just too used to the max radiant spray um i absolutely love that one um i'm gonna try to spray my face with it and then 
with a clean wet sponge I'm probably just gonna like dab it into my skin so that maybe I can get a better finish off that way and the product can sink into the makeup so that it doesn't look cakey because yesterday my makeup was cakey AF on the other hand though look at this highlight Ooh. I used the Anastasia that glow kit it's like the first one that they ever came out with and I used that yellow ish tone I think it's like something called something with the sun I don't know Sunday I don't know what it's called but I use that and I also use that as my eyeshadow for the inner corner highlight and my brow highlight so I'm literally like home um I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and please keep watching and subscribing and make sure you leave a comment of whatever it is that you guys want to see next um, or any suggestions that you guys may have for my channel or that you think that I need to be doing to improve myself on this then um, they're highly appreciated so I know I didn't post a video last week but like I said I'm still trying to get this whole YouTube thing I'm trying to get fit like it all into like a schedule so that I have time to do you know I do work so I want to make sure that I have time to work and do the videos and you know it's only the summertime and the fall is gonna come soon and I'm gonna go back to school so I do need to figure out how I'm gonna fit all of this into one so that I have time to film and all of that um, and really be dedicated to this so but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.